Welcome back to the Tutorial Fortress, Basement Graves of Beers. I am Twisted Logic. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. So right now we have a... I'm gonna unlock this door here to access this lever which I told them to pull. And that goes to the cave system. Right now we have a um, undead army if you haven't seen the last episode. We have an undead army attacking the fortress. Um, everybody's safe inside in the burrows. And we kind of split their forces a little bit. We trapped some in this catch and release trap here where they killed one of my cats as bait. I think there's about 12 of them in there. And we have some stragglers here and here. I'm gonna I'm separating their fortresses their forces again here by closing off this cavern layer. And we have some stragglers down here, and then um, the majority of the undead zombie horde is up here. It's that purple flashing there. Oh, they're kind of spread pretty thin, but there's a lot of them. Zoom in here. And I have some construction going on in here, in the above ground temple fortress that we're building. But uh, we really need a lot more blocks to be made before I can continue that construction. Now they dug these rooms out here, the miners dug out these rooms, but if you press W, you'll see that the burrows stop right there. So I'm going to have to enter to define the burrow, and then R for painting. And then just add in this. Oh, I'm on erasing now. Press R again to paint. Okay. So I'm just gonna have to just double check my burrows here. Because they're currently, um,. They're currently, the civilians are currently on an alert level to stay inside the fortress. I just want to make sure that they can get uh, what they need to to keep working while they're quarantined in the fortress. Zombies outside. Are in this zone as well. I built these graves right up against the um, river here so I don't accidentally breach it again. Now that isn't good. I want them thinking that they can go into that water from the top. Because if I have a burrow that's not connected to other burrows, outside of the fortress, they will uh, be able to transition. So I'm going to unlock this door. And um, now the squad has orders to be outside of the burrow. They're no longer civilians when they're in the squad. So you can set your burrows and civilian alert. And then there's some piece of equipment that the military squad wants to pick up. They'll ignore those burrow orders because they are no longer civilians. Now, I'm gonna see if um, I can take out some of these undead with these small squad of nine. Squad A, wait, it looks like they may be coming to us. Now the diplomat is gonna try to leave. This is the outpost liaison we're gonna follow. Let's zoom in and see if he makes it. Shit, he's going north. Squad A, move. We're going to try to protect him. 
Dead human crossbowman. Oh, damn. Okay. Just gonna press R. So, the liaison kicked him. Not gonna go through the whole report here. I'm just gonna kinda get the gist of it. Oh, he gets kicked and punched a couple times. So, it Looks like the liaison is a little faster than the crossbowman, the undead crossbowman, the flying copper bolt misses. Punches him a couple times, so he's unarmed. He bites him, latches on. Okay. And then the um, builder comes in. Oh, he's got a warhammer. Okay, so one of the builders has Warhammers instead of, um, so it was individual choice melee, so some of them have Warhammers and some of them have Axes, as those are the only weapons that I selected. If they have Warhammers, then they may actually have a pretty good chance against these guys. Squad A, K to kill, we'll come up and get this one. Squad. Squad A, move. The move order, because um, once once they kill the, if you tell Squad A or Squad B or something to kill a specific unit. Once that unit is dead, their order is over. So if I tell them to move, they outpop. Once I tell them to move, they'll move to that area and try to secure it. Now. Yeah, so the outpost liaison here was killed. Lore is overcome by terror and looks like he may also be drowning. Dropped his warhammer there. Okay, squad A orders. Lost three. I'm gonna kind of pull back a little bit since they're gathering in numbers here. What are you doing, General? You guys need to get back. Get back in the building. Oh, he's overcome by terror and ran off. Squad A, move. Right there. That. Yeah. You guys gotta try to get in before uh, this undead army gets here. If you don't get in soon, I'm gonna lock that door. Yeah. Oh, they're getting too close to it. But I did take out some of those, um, some of those undead. 106 and others here. I mean, that's also. We got a troll, we got some crundles, elk birds, keys, uh, mountain goats, but then also um, this undead army. Now 12 of them are captured and some of them are in caverns. Still substantial force outside. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, they just 
mutilated this guy. Squad A. Orders. Now it's going to tell me this little six right here. Next to squad A, the suicide wave. They are um, six strong right now, so there is four empty slots in that squad with a max of ten. Military alert. Inactive. I believe I set up this barracks here. Just gotta keep on clicking it until I get this. Um... Yeah, so this weapon rack here is signifying that this is a barracks for squad one, the suicide wave. Um, go to military, S for schedule. So military alert, active training, suicide wave, enter. So now that there's an A next to active and training, that's the alert that the suicide wave is on. The squad one is alert in this active training schedule. If I press S for schedules, this is the schedule here. Now they should come in here and start training a little bit. Squad A, move right there. It'll take them a little bit. Let's see how this is going. I'll turn the bins off of this. out of coal. I accidentally unchecked plump helmets here. A, C, B, D. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I accidentally unchecked plump helmets here on spring. And this one is for pigtails and it can't grow on spring. Okay. And this one's growing fine. So with the civilian alert off and this door locked, it seems as though the undead can't get into this structure. So they can't break walls and there's no path for them. I mean, they can go up the ramp here, but then they won't fall down as he layer here and it looks like they won't climb either. So the undead are a little, because the goblins would be climbing all over this. 
they would be fine to climb right up inside, but since they're um, undead here, it doesn't seem to be the case, so we're going to be working on this a little bit. It looks like I got a bunch of blocks now. And that right there will be uh, scaffolding for that corner there. Uh, this corner they can access, this corner they can access. Yeah, that's the only... Any of the outside corners, they need a scaffolding piece. That's fine. Okay, build door. So now that the um, walls here are engraved and the floor is engraved, you can see it's a different color. It says detailed granite floor, enter to view. Uh, engraved on this floor is a superiorly designed image of Ab. Leap Summers the Harry is striking down Ab. The artwork relates to the killing of the human Ab by the rock Leap Summers the Harry in the Considerate Mountain in 252. When is 252? Okay, so that was about almost 50 years ago in this fortress before we uh, set up the settlement. Okay, so the requirements for the mayor are being met, but now Captain the guard is not being met. Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is a new one for this um, villain's release. But I will make a bedroom for the Captain of the Guard. out this area for um okay, so he needs an office well i could leave him with the bedroom he has but that's fine the new bedroom will will um take care of his quarters and uh, it'll also give the weapon and armor racks that he needs plus cabinets uh, he needs an office as well so this will be his office and then i'm going to give him a table at the hall
Yeah, right next to the mayor. And I'm fine with, if the value goes down a little bit, that's fine. Sign the table. The guard. One is going to auto captain the guard. Okay, that'll be there shortly. Chief Medical, Dwarf Manager, Hammer, Militia Commander, Dungeon Master. Okay. Add a task, and this is going to be armor. Steel, shield, repeat, Alt W, that's going to go for the same workflow that we already have set up. Armor, steel, shield, repeat. So they're going to be making steel shields and... Also going to be uh, and and the silver warhammers plus the silver battle axes, copper picks. They're also making the once they the steel shields and the silver weapons. They're going to be making and then melting until we get good ones, and that's going to increase the skill of the weaponsmiths. I believe that um, in the last migration wave I changed some of the skills around and I added a few more metalsmiths. I think there's either five or six now. Furniture, steel, and this is gonna be a um no not furniture, um trap components. steel trap component and I want the enormous steel corkscrew repeat that alt W shift a range of this is going to be for now one to two so I'm over here in the dwarf fortress wiki on the magma safe tab here and this is going to tell us all about um, magma safe materials if I come down a little bit it's gonna tell me all the stone and if I come down even further it's gonna tell me the metal that is magma safe and the steel here is on the list so any anything made out of steel is magma safe that's why I'm making the pipe section and enormous corkscrew it's like an Archimedes screw um, with these pumps but we're making that out of steel now I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing magma pumps or not, but uh, I set that up so at least it's doing some of them because I would like to get um, magma forges and magma smelters so I'm not reliant on the wood. Now in this layer here I'm going to go to designation Z to remove up downstairs and ramps. I'm just going to see if I can get rid of some of these to priority one. I don't know if that's going to clear the mud out or not. I hope it doesn't. I'll just do this whole layer. Not these stairs, though. So hopefully the, hopefully the mud will remain. No, it's not. So I'll have to, I may have to reflood this after the um, undead army leaves. I got us surrounded right now. Down here as well. Press A for announcements. So English was dead. Zoom. They 
in here? Oh no, how, how did he get outside? Okay. So we still had a couple squad guys outside, it looks like. Oh, he's on the wall and they're firing. Squad A. Kill. Oh, they're being shot down. Okay. So they're going to build this wall on top. The bowmen's shooting at them and they're falling. They may dodge to the south, um, southeast or southwest, and then they'll fall down as he lair. So it looks like it can't really build on top here. Cancel the top here, or I could bring them inside. I think I'm just gonna bring them inside. Better. Military alert. Get inside. Squad A orders. So once we get everybody inside, we'll lock it up. I don't really want the builders to be um, in the military. That was just something I did quick because of the Cyclops attack. I want the, I want the stewards to be... Yeah, all these stewards here. Military. Go up and down this list with the plus and minus. No, with the um, arrow keys. And then enter on the names in there. And now I'm gonna just fill this with the stewards. Since they're a little bit more expendable. Bedroom. No. Build door. There and there. W. Okay, that's fine. R. Enter. R again. I think it's, um, Sarvish now. So this is Sarvish's new room, and we're gonna press 1 for Captain of the Guard. Okay. Designations E to engrave, and I'm gonna do the floor, the entire floor, not the wall. Well, yeah, not the walls yet, just the floor. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just in um, the kitchen list here. Just checking out that uh, we're not. Okay, we're not cooking with the ale, we're cooking with that, the beer. Two green wheat beer, that's fine. in now. Uh, he's still out there. It's fine. I'm going to close off this section. So what I guess I could do is, um, since I'm kind of locked inside now, uh, until I can either get strong enough to fight them or they leave, which I think it's going to be when they leave, um, what I'll do is um, dig down. Up downstairs. And now, since I already explored into the cavern now, I can kind of see what's going on down here. So what I want to do is, um, yeah, dig somewhere into this area down here, but let me find a passage through. So, yeah, it looks like right here. Big eye for up downstairs. Jafer downstairs. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the barracks here. And then um, get rid of this section here. You know what? I'm going to build this a little bit closer to the. Um, to the looms up here. See if we can get through over here. Yeah. Okay. So dig. I for up downstairs. And I'm just gonna dig it right over here, maybe. Yeah. 
and then a tunnel in for the looms. And down here we'll build a silk farm. So it's going to come down to the cavern where all the spider webs are. So you can't tell over here where. Dig it. One more. Dig I. Right there. And then dig this. Just gonna dig out a pretty big room over here. And this um, is gonna end up being the silk farm. We're gonna get some spider web collection going on inside the fortress. Now I guess we'll do a multi-level one. It's not open space, is it? No, it's just undiscovered. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna be digging this silk farm. getting something done while we're being attacked up there when we're stuck inside. Shape doesn't really make a difference. Um, as long as you don't breach like that. Like, luckily for me, I got my coffee right next to me so I can be a little bit more alert. So this will give us stone and silk. Okay. You know what I think is going on? It's the burrow. So W. Enter. section in there. Uh, now that the fortress is closed up, I don't really have to worry about the built burrows, so M for military, A for alerts. Um, and then I'll go to active training. Since there is no burrow set for active training for the civilians, when you set that civilian alert, um, they just kind of do their thing. They go back to their normal rules as if nothing was on. Okay. So now we are... You know, nobody will get a strange mood and go to a loom. So I guess I can get rid of this door, and I can also dig out this section here. And I'll make a larger or a second area for wall storage, dig a door here. don't actually have a dying shop, so that's five by five there. Nobody will take over the dying shop either. 
strange motors that only affect certain shops. So yeah, that's fine. I can just dig out this whole section. I'll put the dying shop in the corner. some Galena here too. Galena is um, a metal ore for silver and I think that there's also a mixture of like tin or zinc or something in there. Let's J for the jobs list here and see what Start from the bottom here. They'll tell me what the heck they're doing. Okay, dodging demonstration, which means they're training. Praying, socializing, and then most of this is going to be workflow units. So some of the miners are watching the graving demonstrations. So that's fine. I, most of the um, nobody's really stressed out down there, and um, I don't want to stress anybody out. But announcements, okay. Techud has been missing for a week. Uh, I'm just gonna F1. So it looks like he died. I'm gonna mark some trees off. I let a bunch of them grew in. Uh, there is an auto chop, um, if I press C, and then I could, I could make like an outside burrow that's like, okay, chop these trees automatically, which I think I'll do for the, we'll chop trees from the whole map, unless I select a burrow. Yeah, so, you know what I'll do is, um, Go down here. I am going to um, flood this again since there's stone here. After I remove those, since I'm going to do that, I'm going to build the doors for flood control. There and there. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but if I if I dig that out underneath, I don't want underneath the flood, and then also it'll limit the wa it won't allow the water to go up here, so it'll get this corner a little bit better. But I'll have to build that pump again. I could do it off the breach here a little bit later because most of this is going to be filled with water. I'll worry about that later on. But what I was going to do was... Excellent, so we got a strange mood. Who is it? Where is it? Until he claims a workshop. What I was going to do is uh, set up auto chop down here. So, W for burrows. There he is. Who is this? Alath?
a lath un latum. Looks like he's grabbing some cloths. Grabbing some bones. You go down, it's great that he's grabbing stuff. I don't like when they starve. Um, this section here, W, keeps on redirecting me. Great, he started his construction. Let me now try and get back to what I was doing. W, and then A to add a burrow. Can I name this? Doesn't look like it. Enter to define this burrow. And I'm just gonna press, um, I'm just holding down the plus key. And then I'm gonna press C for the symbol selector. Hold that down for a little bit, C again. And just kinda keep pressing C and plus until I get something that kinda looks all right. For my taste, there and there. So this area here is burrow three. Which is great. Borough 3 is defined. D for designations. T to chop trees. C for auto chop. Down on this list, enter on Borough 3. Okay, so we'll chop in selected Borough. Borough 3 is se selected. Um, A is auto chop on. not skipping fruit, edible, or cooking trees. So skip cookable trees, we're not going to select that. Skip edible production trees, we're not going to do that. And skip fruit trees, we're not going to do that. No limit. I don't want them to be a limit, I just want... Um, so the minimum here, I'm going to press N. And then I'm going to add a zero. So the minimum logs is going to be 800. They they should. Or shift N. Yeah, unlimited. So shift N for unlimited. So they should just chop any tree that sprouts up here. They're just going to come in and chop it. And um, what's above this? Okay, that's fine. So what I'll do now, next to that, is dig out a decent sized area for a wooden stockpile. Yeah. Okay, so the miners are still digging down here. Gotta be careful not to breach this. It looks good to me so far. It's all walls. Nothing above it. Okay. Yeah. And then once most of this is dug out, what I'll do is, um, Maybe come over to one of these walls, maybe like right here, and carve a fortification. And that will allow, um, like, vermin to come through. And one of the vermin is a uh, cave spider. And so they'll just start making spider webs down here in this area. Kind of got to make it as big as you can make it. Um, and then you'll have a safe area for your dwarves to go down and collect spider webs without having to really worry about it. And that's the um, silk farm. As long as you don't let cats down there too much. You gotta try to avoid the cats going down. So. Could wall that off with a door that's not pet passable, but I don't really have that many cats, so I'm not too worried about it right now. 
My hope is to have more spiders than cats, so it doesn't matter. Oh great, he made a... Oh, she made a pigtail cl cloth. A pigtail cloth cap that she claims is a family heirloom. That's great. Um, and I just noticed that I have somebody trapped. Edom, so I want to get Edom inside here. So I'm going to pull this lever. Now let's take a look at press W for wounds. Okay, lower, lower right arm, left hand. Not thirsty. And the neck is injured. I want to enclose this and then get the hospital in there. So there's a lot of um, decent amount of mining work. I think what I'll do is um, I'll hop over into Dwarf Therapist, add a few more miners, and then cut that part out. Okay, so I just um, went over into Dwarf Therapist and added um, five more miners since we're making the copper picks. Um, I guess we could uh, switch over to steel at some point, steel picks at some point, but um, right now we're still making copper and we're digging out this um, soon-to-be silk farm for the dwarves. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Save game.